Apparently the fawn's there. Anyway, welcome back, everybody. Our next guest is a master at renovating a room on a shoestring budget. She recently gave her bathroom a facelift for under a hundred dollars. That's right. Fun fact: that's what my facelift cost. Uh, give it up for Aaron Meyer from Lemons Lavender and Laundry. I, uh, you're one of the guests. There's a, there's a Mount Rushmore of guests where you guys get the. Well, it is a Mount Rushmore where you you generate the most activity on our social media. People oh. love your tips. So let's start let's start the fire, as uh, Billy Joel would say. So what, All right. uh, what are we doing today? So we just redid our. It's actually our master bathroom and guest bathroom, which I don't love, but that's the perfect thing to renovate because one day we want to divide it. Yeah. So for $98.51. I love it. It's like trading spaces, like you have the receipts. It's yeah. because I do it as a series on my blog. Yeah. So I really do keep track so people can see how the money was spent. So less than Kendall's trip to Target, I yeah. redid our bathroom today. Well, can you believe that? Yeah, yeah. Okay, now we have a, Aaron, we have a before, Director okay. Leo. Yeah, that's the before on the left and okay. the after on the right. Wow. Seriously? Yeah. That is beautiful. Thank you. How did you do it? And that's the <laughs> other side of the bathroom. Before and after. That's not, wait, 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 wait. Okay, look at the vanity. Yes, we'll talk about that. Okay. That is crazy because vanities are really expensive. Director Leo was really, let me tell you, he was uh, mat locking this. He was like, okay. wait a minute, I know how much vanities are, Mr. Home Depot. He's like, uh, blah, blah. so, okay. All right. So let's start. Uh, where I'm going to switch start? spots with you okay. if that's okay. That. Yeah. All right, so the first thing we did, I'm not really sure it shows it necessarily in those pictures, but I redid a towel rack because, like the oak vanities, they had an oak towel rack with the pegs and your towels don't ever stay on those. Like so, every home in 1994. Yes, yeah. yes, very popular in the 90s. Not so much today. So I grabbed a piece of scrap wood from our garage and you, if you don't have scrap wood, look on Facebook Marketplace because lots of stores give away like pallets or whatever. And so you can find cheap wood. You've said before, and I just want to make a note here. You buy, do you get a lot of your stuff on Facebook Marketplace? Do you find success on, because you've mentioned it a few times. Is well, it a good place for people to go? It is. Um, for example, we took down uh, one of the medicine cabinets. We'll talk about the shelving we replaced it with. And behind the medicine cabinet was a huge chunk out of the sheetrock. Like they had cut a big hole. We found free sheetrock on Facebook Marketplace. Seriously? Uh, you can find anything. Oh, wow. So, Anyway, but otherwise, yeah. if you you can go to the um, back of hardware stores too, and they'll have, and they'll have discounted wood. So we have your piece of. So wood. you have a piece of wood. If you're not, I love kind of rusticy farmhouse. Yeah. So this worked perfect. I just cleaned it up. If you want it sanded and stained, you can do that too. Then grab some hooks. I bought these at Amazon on Amazon. Okay. You literally screw them in, and then the tip that I learned, I actually learned this from my friend Christina. She blogs at the Frugal Homemaker. When you put these hooks on, you, you're going to obviously mount this to your wall, either into a stud or a drywall anchor. But remove your end two hooks and screw underneath them into your wall so then you can put your hook back on and you don't see the screws that are mounting this to your oh, wall. That's a good tip. Yeah. And there it is right there, Aaron. That's what we're looking at. Yes, so that's what our towel rack actually um, looks like. Hi, looks like something you'd get at the Pottery Barn. It yeah. really does. The I added the pottery barn, but the yeah, it looks barn. like yeah, the pottery barn. Yes. So we're gonna. Um, so that was like how much, Aaron? Well, actually, I got to do it for free because these were hooks I already had. We had <laughs> bought them. We bought these like five years ago, and so I just re. We had them on a towel rack or um coat rack. Yeah. And so I just reused them, and this was from my crazy garage. Okay. All right. Next, we took down the medicine cabinets because I personally don't love them. Okay. So I'm going to have you hold this. You're going to be my shelf person. Okay. So instead of buying shelf brackets, you, it looks good. Looks All good. Right, I'm a shelf. Um, instead of buying shelf brackets, which can be more, go and buy corner braces. They'll be at your hardware store. They come in packs of four. They're less than two bucks each. Grab some spray paint. Okay. And then you're going to actually use your level. Make sure it's level vertically and horizontally. And you're actually going to, it already has holes in them, corner yeah. braces. So you mount these to your wall. And underneath, there's the two holes, and those mount to your wood. And then if you have screw, if it doesn't come with screws, you can always stick them in like a little thing of cardboard and spray paint the tops of your screws as well to match your bracket. 
So we, I think we did, we did five shelves. Let me see. Look at that. Oh, yeah. There you go. So obviously, you did a thicker, you found yes, a thicker Yes, so I wood didn't this use one. this per, this is the same wood we used for the towel rack, but those ones I had, we had, we um, actually uh, won in an auction an entire barn full of wood for 10 bucks. So we have more wood than we will ever need. <laughs> Who does that? I don't know. We were there looking for a snowmobile blade and ended up with a barn full of wood instead. <laughs> more with Aaron Meyer when we come back. Back after this, more experiments. <laughs> Leave it to you. Well, we're here for a cow. And Lavender and laundry and her $100 bathroom makeover. What's next? Okay, stenciling the floor. So you might have noticed the floor was stenciled at the end. Oh, I did know. I, I noticed the floor, but I didn't know that was stenciling. Stenciled. So if you like the look of cement tile, but you don't have the budget for it, you can stencil. And it's super easy. So you can buy a stencil. This one was like $13, I think. Okay. And they're flexible, so you can put it up against the wall. All you do, coat a primer. Grab like a four-inch roller. Okay. Coat a primer two coats of your base color, so I did white. And then for your stencil, I did black in that bathroom. And you literally, you wanna get as much paint off as you can. So it's good to practice on a piece of cardboard or something, but you're gonna basically roll it in your paint tray, then roll it on some paper towels and get the excess off. It's almost tacky and you just go over your stencil. And like this one, if you don't have grout lines, it actually has a guide to help you know exactly where to set the stencil each time to make sure that you get it all Cohesive. So I'm hearing that unlike some things, you really do want the excess paint off. You do not no, want. Yes. You do not want a substantial amount of paint on the. No, the thing. Okay. because it will bleed under. If it does, you can take. I, like I had little wet Q-tips and just kind of went around. If a little bit got off, it comes off really easy as long as it hasn't dried yet. Let's take a look. That's that's what it is right there. Yes. Oh my goodness. I'm, when you showed that. Nice pedicure, by the way. Uh, but when yeah, you like showed none. that before, <laughs> no pedicure. When you showed that before, I didn't know that. I thought that was tile that you bought, that you found on Facebook Marketplace. <laughs> no, I wouldn't put it past me. That's I wouldn't do that. Though. Yeah, it's beautiful. All right. Last thing was those vanities that you mentioned. So oak, it has a really deep grain. So if you pa just paint it, you will notice the grain. So I had to eliminate the grain because I did a weathered wood, wood look, okay. and you use wax, and I did not want the wax to settle in the grain. So what you do is you grab some joint compound. This is normally what you use on sheetrock. You're going to go over it with a putty knife, and you'll notice that the joint compound will settle into all those little grain pieces. Oh. Um, get as thin of a layer as you can because your next step, which was is like torturous, and you're like, why am I doing this? And then you see the end result and know it was worth it. But you're going to grab a high grit sandpaper, and you've got to sand that off. So wear a dusk mask and like go to town. Go to town. And then when you're done, I kind of vacuumed it off, grabbed a microfiber like dusting cloth to make sure you don't have any of the grit left behind. Two coats of chalk paint. I did this. This is called pale sapia. It's sort of a tan color. Okay. And this is like the best paintbrush ever for furniture. So I used that. And then let you. Me, let me, Leo, get a shot because we're inevitably going to get an email about this paintbrush right there. That's right. Why I, is this so good, Erin? What? It, it goes on. Do you know like when you have a fresh marker and how it just glides so nice. Yeah. That is like how paint goes on. I can't describe it. It's the best. And I've used other paintbrushes and I That's it's worn off. I don't know what brand it is, but it's good. So then you go over. So this is just going to create a painted vanity and then you apply a dark wax. Okay. So I have tried waxing brushes. I think it goes on too thick. So I just use a t-shirt and you want someone to follow behind you and get the excess off. So that was my husband's job. Um, so I put it on. He would come and get the excess off, and then it creates that kind of weathered wood look. Do we have? Let's look at the the picture here. So that's the look that I got. Wow, that is beautiful. So goodbye, goodbye, medicine cabinet. Goodbye, yes. ninety four oak. Yes. And that is, and then just new hardware. Just I didn't even I didn't replace the hardware. You I used didn't? the same stuff. Yeah. It actually it was black, oh, and didn't. so I felt like it actually worked with that. Although I have spray painted hardware before to make it a different color. Here's the deal. Uh, Aaron got a lot of questions from all of you on our Facebook page. Good news. 
Aaron will be back on Thursday to answer all of those questions. So keep them coming on her Facebook page. And for more of her DIY tips right now, head to lemonslavenderandlaundry.com. One more time for Aaron Meyer, everybody.